Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is another um, project share using my Scrap Diva Designs um, design team um, die package. So today I'm mostly featuring um, two, two die sets. Um, this one here, which is called the um, Heart Border Rectangle Set. So there's the two different sizes. Um, so if you let me pull these out real quick, so they come apart. So if you cut, just use this one. You're just going to get a whole sheet, flat sheet like that. Okay. If you use this one, you can cut it out and then layer it on top. So you just have this border showing. Um, you can put this inside here like this and cut these out together. Okay, and then that will give you the border and then the center piece cut out. Okay, and then this works the same way for the smaller size also. Okay, and you can, you know, have whatever orientation you want. You can have it up, you know, up like this. You can have it sideways, you know, lots of possibilities for it. <clears throat> Um, so I mainly am using this one, and then I'm also using this one for the first time, which is the slider set. Okay, I haven't made a slider card forever, as I mentioned when I um, did my unboxing. Um, yeah, I haven't I haven't even made a slider card forever, um, but this makes it pretty easy. So you've got all these different um, uh, slots, um, the different lengths. Okay, and then they have the kind of a squared, you know, a rounded oblong shape or then you also have a you know like a more <laughs> I guess it's oblong also kind of um, more rounded and then you get the little pieces to um, stack to put your uh, piece on the slide okay so those are the two main dies I'm using other dies in here also that are from you know previous releases and I'll mention them um, when I share them with you so let me show you. First thing I made um, using the uh, the heart rectangle border. Okay, so I cut the I made a bag topper out of it. Okay, so I cut the whole piece out. Okay, and then I used the layering piece and cut that out and then layered it on top. And then this is the double loop bow which I just bought. I just bought because I didn't have it and I loved it. So that's the double loop bow. So I had to use that right away. So I was just trying it out. So that's the first time I ever I have I've used it. But anyway, so there's that. And then I just put a little felt heart in the center. So anyway, I just thought that would make a cute bag topper. Okay. So I used it in that way. And then I used it again. And this is the small one. This one here was the larger one. So here's a small one. And I made this more like a, um, you know, just like a... <laughs> Uh, like a way to package up something, present something, you know, like a, an embellishment or whatever. And so um, this one I stitched on. So this one I cut the smaller one out, the whole piece, and then I cut the center out and just layered it on top with some foam. But all, but all of it, these are all stitched, okay? And then this is um, the uh, straw bow topper, or no, straw bow bow straw <laughs> straw topper bow straw topper <laughs> from scrap deep also um it has three different sizes i have all three sizes on here just layered up i stitched on it. this i had made previously but i thought it was a cute way to you know to package up something so you could have this on the back um i attached it with the garment pin up here and then so it could just be you know like you're submitting something in a swap or for sending happy mail it's just to a very cute way to present it so you just slide this up in a you know in a bag or something so really cute so I like how that one turned out okay next up um, I made this beautiful card look how gorgeous this turned out I have it on my scrap do a little um, easel I love that Okay, so this one I actually made a card. So this one I cut the pink, this light pink, 
um, base, okay, and then just the whole piece, and then I cut the flat piece of the center, okay, and then I've got it all decorated up with a bunch of the, if you couldn't tell, I'm using the carousel still, carousel collection from Maggie Holmes. So I got tickets and, you know, um, chipboards layered up. This is the edge flower from uh, from Scrap Deep I have layered up here in white glitter. This is the capsule leaves la layered on top of the other chipboard leaves back there. And then some little cute little um, star sequins that I had in my stash. Um, and then I topped it right here with a little black and white polka dot bow. And so, and then this is a card. So, um, I couldn't believe I didn't have any, I have 110 pound card stock in white, but I didn't have any regular. So I had to, in order to make it a card and do the fold, so I'm cutting through two layers, um, I had to have something lighter that wasn't, you know, lighter weight. Um, card stock so um, that's why I, so that's why this is kind of a darker pink and then I just cut the center out again and layered it on top so I could write my sentiment there so and then this um, the uh, the top of the card you know the light pink is layered on top of the dark pink that you cut you know to make your base for your card okay and then what I did here this is really cool and I don't remember what this is called. There's a name for it. Um, but what I did is cut all these different um, papers. Um, I cut a oval. I'm using um, the basics set from Scrap Diva also. I have this the oval and the circle um, basics in my, in my stash. And, um, and so what you do is like this first layer, this top layer, I cut the largest oval out of, okay? And then I put it up on foam. Then this next layer, the white and black layer, I cut it out of the next smallest oval, okay? And then pop, popped, it, popped it up on foam also. And then this light pink layer is the smallest um, oval that I had from that set, okay? And then um, I just put this behind. I wasn't sure if I was gonna do what I was gonna do back here, but I went ahead and just put a, another piece behind here. So it gives it, you just, you know, put it up on foam, it gives it a really fun look. And like I say, there's a name for that, but I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, it turned out really pretty. <clears throat> I think, I think it's beautiful. I'm really, <laughs> I'm really, I'm really attracted to this one, this, this, um, the, the color scheme and everything, how it turned out, I really like it. So anyway, that is my card. Okay, I just made a regular card out of the out of the base. Okay, and then I also made, so I made another card. Okay, um, this one I made use, I made the, um, it interactive with the slider set, which is this one here that I showed you to do the slider. Okay, so um, again, carousel, again, um, so this back here is just a plain white, um, this is a pack of cards and envelopes that I had in my stash. Um, so rather than cut out the base of this, um, you know, in the heart edge again, I took a regular card base and just mounted it on, on top here um, with the pattern paper, and then I have the layer of white back here, just cut from the centerpiece, which I should, probably should be showing you that, so you could make sure you're understanding what I'm talking about. Sometimes I don't explain very well. So what I'm meaning is, I cut this layer out flat, so this is the striped and polka dot one back here, okay? And then I took, the layering piece for that. I took it and just cut out the white plane, okay? And then I took this for the smaller piece and cut this out without cutting the center out, okay? On this other one, on this other card, I did cut the center out of it with the, the other circle thing. Okay, so that's the pieces how I used it. And then um, this piece right here this striped piece is up on foam also to give it some more dimension. And then I took this whole set here that I had all layered up and I put it on top 
of my white, just plain white card base that I already I had purchased. Okay, so I decorated it up with some dies I already had in my stash. So I love this cute little um, carousel horse. And he's on like the little carousel pole, and I decorated it with some, um, you know, some more of those star um, sequins. A little pom pom up here, and I have them layered up with some blue, uh, like foil paper. And then I put a cute little bow down here just because I wanted to finish it off. And then I got a bow in his hair, and then a, a little star on top. Anyway, I put a, attached a piece, little piece of. Um, ribbon back here and so this is how he moves so he moves up and down so what I did was because I wanted to look like you know how you go they're going around on the merry-go-round you know on the Ferris or what yeah merry-go-round on the carousel so I wanted it to see, look like he was moving you know and they're going around in circles so what I did rather than cut this just like out of the back you know like a plain sheet of paper I cut this out first and then I cut my little hole as you can see right here I cut that out of the base piece so that my um, my little carousel horse could appear like he's, you know, moving up and down as he's going around the circle on the merry-go-round. Isn't that cute? I love it. So that is my little interactive card using the slider set. And then, like I said, this is just a regular card. It's opening up this way. I haven't done anything on the inside yet, but. I think that turned out really pretty also. Really, really pretty. My favorites are this and this, and then I love this too. This just is so pretty, the look and the colors. So, and then of course, you know, it's always so fun to have an interactive card, and I haven't done one forever, and um, so that made it pretty easy to, to do it. And you get the different links on the, um, on the die set so that you can you, you kind of got to judge where how far you want it to move so whether you want to, to use the big you know the big tall one you know or I guess that's the tallest one right there and then I think I ended up using this one I started to get the biggest one and then um, I wanted once I decided to go with this design I wanted it to fit inside you know the horse and so it had to be one of the smaller ones. So that's what I used. And it turned out so cute. So anyway, that's the dies I'm featuring today. Um, I'll link everything below. Um, I'll list. I'll link everything that I used on all the products, even though some of them aren't the newest. You know, aren't the new release. But I will link them all um, for you down below, along with my um, affiliate link. If you use that link, that would be greatly appreciated. It will give me. A little bit of commission on the sale if you decide to purchase anything and if you do decide to purchase make sure you um, use my uh, discount code that'll give you 10% off um, that's polka 10 it's p-o-l-k-a 10 so that will be listed below and yeah I'll have this all the dies linked and um, go check it out if you've never tried to do a slider car before try it it's fun there's so many possibilities that you can do with it and then this scallop thing is just super fun not just for cards but like i say you can make you know a bag topper out of it you can make like a display card out of it um you, all kinds of stuff you could make boxes you know you could just you know sky's the limit on that so don't just think in in terms of a card so Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon with more projects. Bye, guys.